Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a Groundhog Day blizzard update Monday, January 31st, around 5 p.m. Mountain Time, 2022. The models are in. The 16Z is confirming all the other models. There is a major event moving through the Midwest starting on Groundhog's Day, February 2nd through the 3rd and the 4th. Heavy snow moving through the upper Midwest into Pennsylvania, New York. Boston could get hit again. And we have all the details and the models to share with you tonight. Winter storm land in. A major snow ice threat intensified by Groundhog Day in central eastern U.S. Well, that's not all that's going to intensify it. How about this massive M1.1 Earth-directed solar flare that's going to arrive exactly when the storm is set to begin? This, These hours of powers charging into our ionosphere and our magnetosphere is going to charge this weather. And, well, it might be breaking all records. It will be arriving exactly when the models suggest the weather's coming. Let's break it down for you real quick. The probability of ice in the next 72 hours from Paducah to Dallas. And this is going to be a heavy snow event for potentially Dallas as well and lots of North Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus. Here's the preliminary total snowfall forecast. This is going to change. These 18-inch areas will, I think, in my opinion, become over a much larger area. Now, Wednesday's forecast is when the storm sets up, and we'll get to the models in just a minute. It's going to be snowing here when all day Wednesday. That's going to drop down into Amarillo, into Texas, towards Dallas. There will be an ice storm, a, a cutoff line. This is the front that's causing it. Very warm to the east, very cold to the west and the north, and there will be an ice well, just a, a dangerous ice storm that moves east with this storm. And areas behind will start as rain, change to ice, and then over to snow. Ho, ho, ho. Here's your Thursday forecast as that line moves east. The snow moves east with it. So areas like Louisville could see snow. Columbus, Little Rock, and Dallas especially. So heads up. And we're going to walk through the models with you uh, just day by day. Keeping it simple. Here is Tuesday, February 1st. And then overnight, the snow is going to move into this region. So and that's when the system happens. So on Tuesday, Groundhog Day, that system is going to explode with ice and rain right here on this line. And we're going to show you uh, what happens here on the second. So look at this freeze line develop as this freezing cold air mass, minus 34, 31, right there, pushes down, and it's pushing. This is the storm creator, this front, which goes all the way up here in Canada, north of Maine, all the way down to Texas. And that front is going to move east through Thursday, February 3rd, and that is the storm and the cold air behind it. It's going to continue to push through the weekend. So you can imagine... Uh, the type of totals we may get with this. Now, as we move this through Wednesday, February 2nd through Thursday night, look at that heavy snow moving through Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, all the way through the weekend, Friday, Saturday, still snow moving down into the Del Marva. So this is a huge system, which is going to be potentially followed up by some more snow behind it but that's too far out. So what we have in the next few days is a massive Midwestern storm, a blizzard perhaps, blanketing huge hundreds of square miles with 18 inches of the global warming goodness. And that's going to be accentuated by space weather, in my opinion. So stay tuned for updates tomorrow and the next day on how the models are shifting because we have an M1.1 long duration solar flare that's set to arrive, well, on Groundhog's Day. <laughs> Seismic update. Real quick, we'll finish up with some, wow, what's going on here in the central craton? Oh, frack quakes in Oklahoma. All is quiet on the western front. Not much activity worldwide. We do have uh, some volcano news to talk to you about. Chikura Chiki. I don't know how you, if you say it that way. Chikura Chiki in Pashmir Island has been puffing substantially to 17,000 feet. And this volcano... Um, has a storied history. It, it's been erupting quite regularly. Last eruption in 2016 and 2015 at VEI 2 and 3. Has erupted VEI 4 historically back in 1950 BC. Two VEI 4 eruptions, in fact. 
but recently has been erupting at VEI 2 and 3, so we'll keep a cl close eye on Chikorachki for you. That's boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance when a huge Midwest blizzard is set. Well, it's lining up to take out the ground off. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and be safe. Winter storm warnings and watches will be issued everywhere. Before we go, we'll take a quick look at the winter storm watches that are up currently. And boom, 18 states with winter storm, 20 states with winter storm watcher warnings, prolonged and widespread wintry travel hazards across the central and U.S. midweek. An Arctic boundary combined with ample moisture will provide a swath of persistent heavy snow, sleet, and freezing rain from the southern plains to the Great Lakes. An upper low will produce heavy snow in the southern Rockies, and temperatures will plunge much below normal behind this system. In Texas, strong thunderstorms may produce locally heavy rainfall, and then snow, ho, 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 and freezing temperatures will cause pipes to burst in the south. And well, take heed to the winter storm watches and warnings coming to your area. This is a significant storm. There's going to be significant power outages, and this is just the beginning of the well, the February to remember, as we said a month ago, that's a boom. Please make sure to check out Leah's video on our over 80 birds that we're raising that are about 17 weeks old now. That's going to launch at 8 p.m. tonight over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Be safe. We love you. That's a boom. Mooning.